All right, so I've mentioned that I wanted to upload this for a couple years now, but I'm finally getting around to doing Rebirth 1. Yes, I'm not saying the entire title, but this part is mainly just story. If I were to include gameplay, it would be about an hour. So enjoy the story, and I'll get more into what I'm doing afterwards, I guess. Still not sure, honestly. <laughs> Whoops. Game industry. Here in this reality shift realm are four presiding CPUs. Each reside in Celestia, a world separate from the land they oversee. CPU Blackheart and her land of black regality, Last Station. CPU Whiteheart and her land of white serenity, Louis. CPU Greenheart and her land of green pastures, Lean Box CPU Purple Heart and her land of purple progress, Planetoon. Here, the CPUs fight endlessly in battle for rule over game industry. This battle is etched in history. This is the console war. You're all so stubborn. Why don't you all give up already? Nonsense. We've been fighting for hundreds of years. Why quit now? That's my line. I won't let any of you take the title of true goddess. <sighs> How much longer do we have to put up with this pointless fighting? Well then, do us a favor and just die! My, such raucous manners. I have matters of destiny to fulfill, unlike you. Shut it! I can't stand the way you talk all high and mighty, thunder tits! Breasts are symbolic of maturity and fertility, qualities of a goddess. With such logic, it can be said you are the least... fitting. The hell's that? All that crap talking out your butt, I'll kill you! Got you! What? Damn it! That was close! <laughs> it's your fault for idly babbling in the midst of battle! Uh, really, how much longer does this sterile battle have to continue? Well then, why not get rid of one of you? True. That could be the catalyst of change we've been searching for. Not a bad idea. What? What are you all talking about? So who's the sad one to be ousted here? I suggest... Purple Heart. Neptune. It would be difficult to get rid of her later, so I can agree to that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Who are you three talking to? <laughs> it's settled then. So sorry. What? What are you all talking about? <laughs> Do us a favor and just die! <laughs> Day up! Damn you! <laughs> Take this! Too slow! <laughs> Prepare yourself! Die! I won't lose! Yuck. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Eat this! Say! Uh. Huh. Take this! I won't let you escape! What's 
What's that? It's dark, like pitch black. Where am I? Oh, I get it. It must be a power outage, or maybe the circuit breaker dropped. But why am I bright, like I've been splashed with fluorescent paint? I guess it's just my brilliance emanating from me. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Um, hello? Is anyone here? I hope I don't step on your figures or anything. Well, not that something like that would be on the ground, right? But ew, who knows what I could step in? It could be leftovers. Uh, do I just wait for more text boxes to pop up? This is way weird. Anyone out there? I'm going to start roaming, you know. Yikes! Did I just step on something? Ew, soft and mushy. What is it? Jeez, I'm bored. Uh, whose message am I waiting for anyway? I apologize for the delay. Have you been here long? Hey, a voice. Who are you? Delay for what? Wait, did my soul go to heaven? Please calm down. I did not intend to scare you there. I am Istoire, a tome. You fell from Celestia, and now I seek a favor from you. Uh, d d d tome I knew it. I am so dead. Wait, what do you mean, fell? To where? Hell? Ugh, I should have finished my game backlog and erased everything on my HDD. Um. Neptune, please take a deep breath and calm yourself. How can I calm myself when someone can look into my special HDD collections? Neptune, you have not died. You have merely fallen unconscious. Huh? Really? What a relief! <laughs> um, Ms. Heavenly Voice, how do you know me? Are you my fan? I am Istoire. I record the history of game industry with the goddesses. Sure, don't answer me then. I am sorry, but I was getting a bit tired of pointing out everything. Great, now I make others tired. I don't have much time, so I will get to the point. Please, Neptune, please lend me your powers. Huh? Uh, what'd you say? There's a lot of noise on my side. Please stop our fo- And put- End to the- Console war. Shut up! Oh, shoot! Did I break something? Wait, where am I? Oh, you're up! Good morning, sleepyhead! Well, actually, good afternoon. Um, this isn't my room, is it? Is it yours? And why am I tucked snuggly in? Well, it was just last night. I saw a shooting star! That was you. That was a short answer. <gasps> Wait, that means I fell from the sky? Yes! You were stuck into the ground like Soul Sword! Only, it was you. Soul Sword? You mean Soul... <laughs> Wasn't it the Excalibur that was stuck? Oh, that's right. I'm not sure why I keep mistaking it with soul. Anywho, you are out cold, so I pulled you out and brought you here. 
all by yourself? That's cool, thanks. You're a lot stronger than you look. I go to a nursing school. Moving bodies is part of training, so I'm fine. Come to think of it, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Kampa. I'm Neptune. Thanks for saving me, Kampa. Hope we can be friends. Nice to meet you, Nep... Neppy. Jep... Jep... Nep... Nep... Neptuna, Nep Nep, Nepper, it doesn't matter. You can call me anything. Okay then. How about Nep Nep? It's nice to meet you, Nep Nep. Oh, I noticed you're all bruised. Allow me to take a real quick look. Yeah, I am kind of scraped up, huh? Strange, I feel like I got sandbagged. Oh, but I'm only scratched. So it must be my imagination. Okay, so let's first get those clothes off you. Okay, taking my clothes off. Wait, why do I have to go nude? I don't need to make myself more powerful. I can't bandage you with your clothes on. No need to be shy now. Well, I get that, but... Okay, here comes the wrap. This way... That way... Loop it over... Uh, uh, hold on! Can you make it a bit loose? It's getting tight... You don't want it loose or you'll trip! Just be patient now! Breathe! My back! Ah! Ah! Nap Nap? Are you okay? Please come back! Nap Nap? Nap Nap! Th that was close. I was just an inch away from entering the light. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I only made the wrap a wee bit tight. Really? I was wrapped tighter than some huge fighting mummy. So, um... Why did Nep Nep come from the sky and get stuck into the ground? I don't know. I don't remember anything before coming here. Nep Nep, maybe you're suffering from amnesia. Really? Huh. Well, I guess so. I'd like to help. I don't have anything to cure amnesia. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Kampa. No need to get yourself down over it. But... Um, you know what? I'm a bit hungry. Uh, do you have any food I could eat? Food? Well, I don't have much. But how about some pudding? Pudding? Um, what's a pudding? You don't know what a pudding is? Nope, never heard of it. Does it taste good? Just a minute, let me bring one. Hmm, so this yellow thing is a pudding? Whoa! <laughs> It wiggles when you poke it. Nap Nap, did you lose memory of food too? I remember cake and stuff, so I guess I really don't know what it is. Well, here I go. The tantalizing sweetness melts away on my tongue. This is the best. Really? Really? This has got to have been made by the finest chef in the world! Where can I get more? Well, I actually made it myself. Amazing! Kampa, you are a genius! Oh, stop 
teasing me, Nap Nap. Wait a minute, let me get more. Your homemade pudding was a blast, Kampa. I'm happy you liked it. By the way, what are you gonna do now, Nap Nap? Well, I want to know what happened, so I'll go back to where I was found. Oh, then I can take you there, Nap Nap! This totally isn't take three, but I'm gonna end things here. It's gonna be an RPG, so it's gonna be a lengthy project. It can't be held if this is like 50 or 60 parts, but we'll see what happens. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part where I actually explain what this game is about. Take care, y'all.